Hi, my name's Andrew from Virgin Island Yacht Brokers, your cruising broker. I'm here today at Secret Harbor, which is located in Mount Hartman Bay on the beautiful island of Grenada. And you can see here we have Aurora. Aurora is a 2021 Lagoon 46 three cabin owner's version. This one owner boat has been spec from the factory with almost every option available. So join me as I show you around and take you aboard Aurora. Welcome on board Aurora. As you can see, we have beautiful wide sugar scoop transoms that make it so much easier to walk up and down. And one of the great things about Aurora is this swim platform dinghy lift. We will show you how that works in a bit, but that is an awesome add-on. Beautiful teak decks. And as I walk into the cockpit, you can see here, we have such an amazing space. So here we are in the cockpit of Aurora. Once again, teak decks, beautiful wide open space, great table for entertaining, lovely sitting area back here, and incredible views. One thing I do like about the lagoon is in here, in all the lockers, they have gas struts that make it so easy to access whatever you want in here. This here is all your shore power and tool stuff. But yeah, with the hatch that stays open, the lid that stays open, it really makes it convenient to get in and out. Lots of storage on Aurora. So in here, we have a dedicated garbage can. Just lift the lid and, and throw things in there, trash in there. Makes it very easy. This trash on a boat is always an issue. So that is very, very innovative by Lagoon. More storage under here, propane bottles. More propane tanks here. You can see everything is on gas struts. It makes it so much easier. We have a table here that makes into a day bed. This will raise up so you can have another seating area with table inside. So here we have an amazing galley. This is truly a dream and would be a dream to cook in. You've got a four burner stove here. You've got a microwave oven up here. You have a dishwasher here. You have another oven here, gas oven. And all the drawers and storage space. Oh my. And they're all self-closing. You have a seawater pump here. And that is super neat. You just Turn it off and turn it on. Just amazing. Nice cold fridge here. Lots of cold storage for all your foods, vegetables, water, TV right here. But look at this amazing view. You can just see out here. Can you imagine waking up to that? Aurora has air conditioning, which in the Caribbean you sometimes need on the dock. So let me show you port cabins. This, this is the guest cabins. as a two cabin, two bathroom setup. And come on down. Really nice to have carpet under your feet. It feels so good. So here we are in the stern guest cabin. You can see we have a beautiful big bed and it's walk around, which makes it very easy to get in and out and actually make the bed. Beautiful decor hardwood and lots of storage. This is a hanging locker. But just look out this window. Large window, lots of light. This will be uh, amazing for your guests. So in here you have the guest head with a walk-in shower. Having a, a dedicated shower is awesome for guests. Lots of room, lots of space. I'm walking to the forward cabin. Very similar setup. Beautiful views out the window. 
each unit has their own separate air conditioning. And once again, toilet, shower as well. Really nice walking up the steps. You can see the ocean down there with the escape hatch. So once again, the forward cabins, and we're going to go back up into the main saloon area. Coming up here, you can just see how bright an area and light it is. Love the lagoon boats. Let's go down to the owner suite now. Once again, carpet, which is so nice on your feet. Nice seating area. Once again, more storage. Stuff like a laptop computer, things like that will fit in there easily. What a beautiful master suite. I must say the carpet underfoot is feels so nice when you're walking in here. The carpet is removable. You can just pull it out and clean it, but it, it sure is nice on the feet. Big, beautiful bed. The nice thing once again about the lagoon beds is there's so much headroom. I can, I can stand here in the hatch and then I can also get into bed. I can make the bed from here. Now you're gonna ask me how often do I make the bed? Not very often. Yeah. Never, which is kind of funny. But I do notice things like that. Lots of storage, hanging lockers, the door that slides for privacy. Fans in here, 12 volt fans. Another fan over there. Lots of different lighting options. So when you're reading in bed, doing anything like that, it's great. So once again, separate air conditioning controls down here for this cabin. What a beautiful space. Just imagine relaxing right here. You can look out the water. If you're working here, you can work here. What a great home office. Can you imagine having this grenade as your view? Work here, easy, nice and comfortable. A large walk-in shower. So much space. Look at the size of that shower in there. Beautiful sinks, nice countertops. Aquarium countertops. Just look at the space, look at the light. Beautiful little vanity under there for makeup. All storage everywhere. So much storage. And you can just hear the clasps as they close. So nice. So here we have a washer dryer. Beautiful right in the Master shower. So this is a separate, separate head with its own sink. Such a nice boat. So let's go up front of Aurora. You can see you've got nice non-skid white steps, easy to walk up. Such wide decking. No problem. Lots of handholds here. So much space up front here. One thing you will notice, Aurora has a lot of solar. Solar panels are, are uh, a must when you're a liveaboard cruiser. Makes it very easy. Working away up front, the space up here is huge. Day beds up here. Imagine lounging on these, sitting down enjoying the sunshine, just waking up to a Caribbean dream. This is uh, what cruising lifestyle is supposed to be. So under all these hatches, so much storage under here. You can see in here we have the water tanks and this boat has never had fresh water from any dock. It's always just been water made for water. This is great. So there's no contaminants that can get into it. So much space in here, windless controls, big water tank, 
lots of lines. And then this one here is the generator. This generator is so quiet. It's a Cummins. It's so quiet when it's running. You can be in the back of the, the cockpit saloon area and not even know it's running. Beautiful. So you can hear how the generator is running right now and it is so quiet. I close that and you can't even hear that it's going. It's such a beautiful system. With your generator, you can run all the stuff inside the air conditioners. Peeking into the port bow storage locker, you can see we have tons of space for fenders and any toys you wish to have on board. This side also has a toilet and sink for the convenience of crew. Moving across the deck to the starboard side, we have the identical amount of space, with this side being either storage or a crew berth. Aurora is able to be handled by a cruising couple, so crew is not required, but you have the option if you so choose. All right, so let's go up to the flybridge. So this is a great helming station. The flybridge is awesome for uh, visibility. You can see all points of the boat behind you, forward. And look at all the seating area, day bed area, undercover. We've got a solid bimini, which is great. It makes it so much nicer than a cloth bimini. You've got your Yanmar controls here, left and right. B&G Electronics with uh, a large 12 inch display. Two BNG displays here, and your windlass over here, and a fusion stereo box there. We have drop down um, eyes and glass to protect you completely from the elements. A beautiful spot, fusion speakers out there for stereo. We have three electric parking winches, two speeds. All your clutches and all your lines come back here. Easy access up front here. Get up. Walk anywhere on the coach roof out here. Walk around and you can see all the solar panels up here. It's very easy. But... The lines to the left of the seat are part of the single line powered traveler car. This is a great option. With the push of a button, the traveler moves either port or starboard, making sail trim very easy. Here we are in the starboard engine area. The engines and other boat systems are accessed through a wide hatch on the stern of the boat, just at the top of the stairs leading down the sugar scoops. Here you can see the Yanmar 57 horsepower engine and the battery chargers. Here you see the hydraulic steering controls with the shaft that connects the two rudders. There are no steering cables on this boat. Battery switches and the blue boxes up there are the Victron solar charge controllers. We have the emergency tiller up top here underneath and the circuit breakers for the shore power. Back into the Yanmar 57 horsepower engines. These engines are well maintained, serviced, no oil leaks, no water leaks. And you can see the hydraulics for the swim platform. Now we are in the port engine area. You can see the water pump, which is behind an accumulator. The accumulator is a great thing. It uh, smoothens out the pressure so the pump is not surging on and off all the time. You can see the battery switches up there. And coming back into our water maker, this water maker is uh, a really fantastic unit as it is a dual voltage. You can either run it off 12 volt or 230 volt, batteries or generator. And then back, you can see the starter battery and the battery control switches up into the steering. And you can see the uh, solid shaft for the steering going between the two rudders. And we have some plumbing and more plumbing, water pipes down here, back into the water pump and accumulator. Down into the filtration for the water maker, you can see the through hole there. And back into the Yanmar engines. These Yanmar engines are once again well maintained, serviced, no oil or water leaks. And you can see here the model number is a 4JH57. Okay, we're up again. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty easy. Then these come out to make a nice swim platform, hey? Okay, bring it out now. As you can see, Aurora is a beautiful sailing vessel. Aurora, once again, is a 2021 Lagoon 46 3 cabin owner's version. My name is Andrew from Virgin Island Yacht Brokers, and thank you so much for watching this video tour.